here. Come here. Look. Hello. Here. Behind the tree. Hurry. Come here. Oh, thank goodness he didn't wake up. Hi. Welcome to the Dream Gate. My name is Nights. And thank goodness he didn't wake up. That old bird loves to jabber on and on and on, he never ever stops. My goodness, every single night, every single time a visitor comes in, he has to beat me to the punch, and then he has to be all like, Welcome to the dream gate, this is the world of your dreams. You've already been here many, many times, but all you visitors are very, very forgetful, so I have to sit through the whole thing. Over and over and over and oh, for once I don't have to. <laughs> so, what's your name? Ah, oh, that's very lovely. Well, I bet your world is even lovelier than that. Now, what do I mean by that? <laughs> okay, you see that door over there? that just appeared. That is the way to Nightopia. Now, Nightopia is a world that is made from your very heart. Isn't that cool? Now you see when the old bird gets on about it, he makes it sound like it's the most mundane thing out there. But come on, let's just go see for ourselves. <laughs> It'll be way more fun than having to just deal with him blabbering on and on. Besides, you might wake up and I don't want you to have to sit through that. So, come along. Come in. Let's go. <laughs> Just have to sneak on by. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Okay. Right now, just turn the handle. your world. <laughs> it's incredible. Though, I must say, it's quite fascinating. No matter how hard I try, <coughs> I can't seem to stop whispering. Now, I'm no expert on my topias, but I think that says a lot about you, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. Now, what can we do here? Mm -hmm. Ooh, what's this? What a strange little object. Visitor, can you tell me what it is? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, I've never seen one before. <laughs> Quite fascinating. Hmm? Oh, right, the whole your heart made this place thing. Uh, well, you see, visitors' hearts are made of uh, five different, uh, what would you call them? Energies, I suppose. They're idia. E D R. Idia. They're like uh, pieces of you. Uh, red is for courage, blue is for intelligence, green is wisdom, white is purity, yellow is hope, and all of them make you. And each of them make this world, which is essentially you also making this world. Which idea made this place? Uh, well, that's a good question. I didn't really get a good look at you since we were trying to make our escape. Let me take a good look at you. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like you're missing a couple. Don't worry, that's quite common. We could easily get them back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I might not look it, but I am very, very powerful. I can easily help you get all your idea back. But you see that red light there? That's the one you can never lose. Why? It's your courage. Oh, don't say that about yourself. I'm sure you're brave enough. I mean, you trusted me, didn't you? For all you know, I could be, say, uh, a really, really nasty nightmare in. You don't know what a nightmare is, so oh, of course not. You've probably forgotten that by now, haven't you? Well, you see, a nightmare is. <gasps> Get down! He's the general of all nightmares. Very, very powerful. But I'm more powerful. But regardless of that, I, I'm not particularly in the mood to deal with his flavor of fighting. He tends to fight a little dirty and I don't enjoy it. Rather than actually using that strength of his, he'd rather try and mess around with any visitor I'm having fun with, and so he completely sours my day. I really don't like that guy. And neither should you. I don't like where your eyes are going on him. Please don't get the idea that he's actually friendly. He's not. Assure you, I know him really well, more well than I would like to admit. And he's not a good person like Marin. Yeah. Anyway, what's he doing? He and I recently fought in, well, naturally, I won, of course, but. Hmm. Looks like he's scouting. Ah. Oh. Looks like they're looking for one of you missing idiot. That must mean one of them is here. Hmm. I wonder. Can we beat him in this little hunt? I think we can. And let's do it without him even knowing he's the loser of this game. <laughs> Alright. So, when he's gone, we'll start looking. Hmm. You know, I've never actually been this close to a visitor before. Now that, well, I'm actually looking at you. <laughs> Would it be okay if I just... You're really soft, aren't you? I've only ever really touched hands before, never... A face. I do apologize. Uh, it is alright if I do that, right? I've just... I've usually given visitors a lot of distance, in a sense. Mm. You lot are really warm, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Ah, it looks like Rian is gone. Okay. Let's get you up. Now let's go find you missing idiot, shall we? Should be somewhere around... Huh? Oh, um... You're holding my hand. That's... Hmm. I haven't even told you about dualizing yet, have I? <laughs> Honey, dualizing. 
it's when we become one, in a sense. You become part of me, and I become part of you. I usually do that by contact with the hands like this. I don't know if you want to do that right now. <laughs> what do I mean exactly? Well, oh, what the heck, might as well show it off. Alright, are you ready? <laughs> You're gonna fly. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't had someone this excited to be part of me in a quite a while. <laughs> Yep, that's right. You can move my hands and everything and oh. Okay, you want to touch my face now? <laughs> I suppose that's pretty fair. Well, how do I feel for you? Not too shabby, yeah? <laughs> yep, I was made to be very soft and very cute. Very pretty and... Just overall attractive, I suppose. What do I mean by that? Ah, you know, just <laughs> nothing really. But have you noticed? You're floating. You can fly. Now, do you think we could fly around and look for your idea without Riala noticing us? <laughs> I trust you. Come on. Take control. Idia, where, oh, where are you? Hmm. Surely it's got to be around here somewhere. Where, oh, where could it be? I know you can feel it from me feeling it too, right? Any ideas? Where would you keep a piece of you in a world as quiet as this one? Hmm. So, let's keep going in this direction, shall we? Yes, that's it. Get closer, get closer. Stop! I think I can see it right there. Here we are. <laughs> I'll just let you out. There we are. Now, I can see you again, and you can see me. <laughs> and here is your radio. Just let it go back in me. And there we go. One step closer to being you. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Do you hear that? That, my dear visitor, means our time is up. And as much as I enjoy your company, and I would love to just keep you here for another, oh, I don't know, 15 hours, however long that is in visitor time, I'm afraid you have things to do in your world, don't you? I know you lot are really busy in the waking and... Well... I don't understand most of it, but I do know a lot of it comes over here. And just now, that I know you're very, very strong. And I know you'll be able to handle whatever happens over there. I could feel your strength in my own heart. Okay? Now, go on and face the rest of the day. I believe in you. And I'll be waiting. <laughs> See you soon.